You may have heard that saying that you don't get a second chance to make a first impression, and it is true. Let's use curb appeal and get them in the front door. You really don't want buyers coming in with reservations before they actually see the inside of the home. So today I'm going to give you quick, easy, inexpensive, or free ideas for making your house look super inviting and keeping buyers from making their showing more of a drive-by. Hi, I'm Mary Schumann. I am a realtor in the Twin Cities. And if you are thinking of selling your home, you can download my seven tips to a fast sale. It is free and it's in the description box down below this video. Tap the title if you're on a mobile device and that will open right up for you. I also love questions. So if you wanna reach out via a phone call, email, or a text message, that's great. Or you can drop your question down below this video in the comment section and I'll respond to it there. So here are some cheap and easy ways to make your curb appeal top notch. Often when we live somewhere for a long time, we just stop seeing things that are minor and might need some spiffing up. But buyers, they won't miss them. And they actually may think that these little things reflect on the quality of the home overall and also the price. I spend a lot of time with buyers and I hear things that come to their attention as they look at a home and how they perceive them. Little changes can go a long way toward making buyers excited about coming into your home and it will also pay off when they decide to make an offer. When people perceive the value to be high, they want to win the bid. Obviously, curb appeal is just one aspect of that, but it is often a quick and inexpensive fix. I'm going to start with the most expensive of the things that I'll mention, and it's actually not expensive. It's updating an exterior light fixture. This really isn't something that people spend a lot of time looking at on our own homes. We're not standing out there gazing upon our exterior lights. But I think of them like jewelry on a home. Take a hard look at yours. Are the light fixtures dated, faded, dirty, crusty looking? Maybe it just needs a good cleaning, but if you are great with spray paint and you wanna take it down, tape everything off and give it a fresh coat of paint to freshen up the metal, awesome. If you do think that yours could use an update and it would make your home look more modern or current, you can get a new light and install it within about an hour for less than $100. No lie. I've installed many light fixtures over the years and I'm still standing. And if I can do it, that means you can too. Speaking of jewelry on the home, while you're looking at the light fixture, check the house numbers. Our house had these tiny, squiggly, super cheap house numbers when we bought it and I replaced them with economical but larger clean lined fresh ones and I was actually stunned at the difference. So many times I'm out walking my dog through the neighborhood and as you can imagine, I love looking at homes, of course. And one of the things that I notice is a great set of house numbers. Some of these can be quite expensive, but they don't have to be. You can really show attention to details on the outside of your house with a set that you pick up from your local Home Depot or another hardware store. So still focusing on the entryway, which is the place where buyers stand examining every detail while they wait for their agent to open the door. Um, look at your front door. Is it faded, dirty, scuffed up, or does the color lack punch? You should consider painting the front door. It's less than a quart of paint and about an hour of your time to have a fresh, clean, happy looking entryway. Maybe 15 bucks, then add a pretty wreath if you want. To me, a wreath always just says welcome. If you're in a condo, this could be your curb appeal. Just throw a wreath on your door. Now make the rest of the entryway shine by making sure that you've swept down any cobwebs, replace light bulbs so that the porch or entry has a bright, welcoming feel, and then replace the welcome mat if it's not new. Sweep the surface of the stairs, and if your sidewalk or steps aren't looking very fresh, you can borrow a power washer and give them a good cleaning. I know I'm not the only one that loves before and after videos of power washing. It's just so satisfying, and you can experience this in your own home. <laughs> also free and worth doing is to clean any glass on the door or the windows nearby. If you're lucky enough to have a porch, put out a chair with a bright pillow that picks up the color of your door and then add a side table to show that it's a great place to sit with coffee in the morning, 
greet neighbors, or watch the kids play. People really want to imagine how they would live in spaces and making it inviting right from the moment that people approach is important. Okay, let's focus on your landscaping for just a minute. Make sure that your grass has been mowed and go the extra step and make sure that it's edged around the sidewalks. This looks really sharp and it gives that impression of care. Make sure you pull weeds. I have seen more than one house with weeds coming up through the entry steps or sidewalk cracks and I just wince because details do matter and this is easy and free. Make sure to trim back bushes and trees so that they're easy to walk past, that they're not obscuring sidewalks or the front of the house. If they are obscuring the house, this is a double no-no because it makes the house look creepy and overgrown from the outside and it often blocks a precious free resource inside, which is natural light. Nearly everyone wants a home filled with natural light, especially if you live in the north. Add a fresh layer of mulch to your garden beds and clip back or pull anything that's looking a little bit dead. Adding a pot or two of fresh flowers on the approach to the house adds a welcoming touch, but if you aren't much of a gardener and you don't really want to plant live plants, you can find really nice looking fake plants easily and for not a lot of money at home stores. I honestly cannot believe the deals I've found on them lately when I've been out shopping for staging materials for my listings. If you're selling in winter, don't worry, you can still add plants. Just use evergreen branches as your potted plants to add that life and warmth to the front of the home. I've picked up some pre-made bundles from greenhouses and they last forever out in the cold and they really make a good first impression. Okay, this is not 100% curb appeal, but if you are selling in the winter and you live in the north, do not neglect to keep your sidewalk absolutely clear of snow and ice. Falling on ice or wading through snow is not the best first impression. Thanks so much for watching this week. Let me know if you have questions and feel free to download those tips for selling. They address things to consider for the house as a whole, not just curb appeal. 